all right you guys so by the title you can tell what we are doing today i'm going to be showing you guys my entire eyeshadow palette collection this is long overdue i literally was promising this all last year but i'm finally doing it now the last time i posted my last video was i think 2021 so i've i've had i've definitely added more palettes to my collection so i just want to give you guys an overview real quick before we actually get into this so i'm gonna go ahead and back out a little bit all right so this is my room um that is where you guys where my filming happens perfumes are kept there sorry it's all dark so this is my room and i just have my palettes here on these two bookshelves so these are separate i bought them from walmart they're like no more than 30 dollars um and I built them and put them together. And so normally they were right next to each other. But when I moved into this place, I decided to just stack it and make it like a nice bookshelf. So I'm going to go ahead and do like a just a nice little overview. Sorry if the lighting is off when we get to the bottom of the shelf. Um, as I show the palettes, I will be um, dropping the light down. But yes. So I'm going to go ahead and put my camera on a stand. And we're going to go ahead and get into this. Okay, guys. So let's go ahead and get started. So starting off with the top shelf. I have these two palettes here by Glam Light. So this is the wine palette. And this is what it looks like. It is just your basically purple palette. <laughs> I was going to say everyday purple palette. But I was like purple is not an everyday color. But yes, this is it. Then we have the Dirty Martini palette. And this is what this one looks like. Absolutely love this. This is like one of my favorite green palettes. Beautifully done. Love, love, love. Next up, I have two palettes here by Melt Cosmetics. So we have the Waiting Room palette. I'm going to take a little insert out. And this is what this one looks like. Maroon, burgundy, gray shades with um, that nice, beautiful black there. Next, it is the Recently Deceased palette. And this is what this one looks like. It's a purple green palette. All right, so bear with me with this next section. I have my Pat McGrath palettes. I do keep them in the boxes, so I'm gonna have to open all of them up. I do have every last one of the Mothership palettes except for the most recent one. Um, yeah, I, no. So, well, at least know for right now. So this is the Mothership one, and this is the inside of that palette. Next, we have the Mothership two, and this is the inside of this palette right here. It's like an everyday palette with like a pop of green in there. Beautiful. Next, we have the Mothership 3, which is one of my favorite um, designs. And this is what this one looks like. Like, this is what I want Pat McGrath to get back to, like her earlier palettes. Like, the stuff that she's been putting out since palette 7 have just been very, like, repetitive. But this is this one right here. Same thing. It's still kind of neutral with some, like, pops of colors. Um, it's giving, like, editorial, like... Okay, next we have the Mothership 4. And this is the... One Mothership palette that is all shimmer. So there's no mattes in here. So this is definitely a palette that I have to pair with others to use. I'm not somebody that doesn't, that doesn't all shimmer eye look anymore. I remember when I first got into makeup, I used to. But not anymore, okay? I need some mattes in there. <laughs> but yes, this is this palette. Next up is the Mothership 5, which is probably one of my favorite palettes by Pat McGrath. And this is this palette. Like... I love, 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 love this palette. This shade right here, oh my goodness, gorgeous. Next is the Mothership 6. Yet again, another favorite of mine. Um, let me go ahead and show you guys the inside of this. I also love the artwork on this. Like, I love how like this is like purple with the gold and like, the, like <sighs> Pat McGrath is really, like when Pat McGrath is really in her bag, she be in her bag. But lately, I don't know what's been going on with, with Mother, but her older palettes, yes, yes. All right, and this is this palette. As you guys can see, I get my use out of this. Like, I love that shade. Clearly, as you guys can see, I definitely get my wear out of this palette. It's probably one of my most used um, Pat McGrath palettes. All right, next up is Mothership 7. And this is where we started the rose tones. And it looks like we have never been able to escape the roses ever since this palette. All right, and this is this palette. It's very simple. Honestly, it's a little boring to look at, but I absolutely love it. I feel like this is definitely a staple. Um, it's a great everyday palette. Now, these are a little more on the pricier side, so <laughs> I don't know if somebody wants to spend a hundred something dollars for an everyday palette when there's other things out there, but if you want to grab a Pat McGrath palette, you want something pretty much, you know, nice, simple, everyday, not too crazy. You're not really somebody that likes bold colors. I think the Mothership 7, honestly, would be a great fit for you. 
Okay, so this is Mothership 8, and this is what this palette looks like. And this is the first time that we got like a multi-chrome from Pat McGrath with her, um, her special shades. So just so you guys know, the four shades on this side of her Mothership palettes, except for Mothership 4, are her um, special shades, where, like, where they're either a duochrome or multi-chrome, but like they're highly reflective, highly like just shimmery, like just beautiful but yes this shade right here is where everybody went start, started going crazy like oh my gosh like it was it was it was a moment okay <laughs> next is the mothership nine and this is what this one looks like it is pretty much a neutral palette with some really pretty like purpley shimmers like i said these shades on here over here these four are usually very highly reflective just really out there and that's really where the money is going towards when you're buying one of these palettes um that's how we justify it <laughs> even though it's still crazy and outrageous of pricing um it is those special shades that really makes this worth it um granted pat mcgrath's um matte formula and her other shimmer formulas are amazing but definitely the standout of her palettes are these and let me just i don't want to really swatch anything today but i'll show you guys this one just so you guys can see just beautiful they just look like wet on the eyes just gorgeous <laughs> all right we are almost done I, I, this has honestly taken way too long to film this portion is the Pat McGrath ones because I have to open up the boxes. But yes, this is Mothership 10. And this is what this one looks like right here. Pretty simple, neutral, everyday type of palette with some really pretty shimmers um, in the corner over there. So yeah. And then I have here, this came out in 2020. This Pat McGrath palette, what is this called? This is the Celestial Divinity palette. This right here um, are repeat shades from some of her other palettes and then I believe some of them were new. I honestly cannot remember um, what is new. I think this quadrant and th these six, I honestly can't remember. Let me not misinform you guys, but I know that this palette is a mixture of some new shades and then some shades from other palettes of hers. And so because I didn't own those palettes, I was I justified buying this. I was like, okay, because well, I don't want to just have a bunch of like repetitive stuff that I already bought from her from other palettes. But yes, this is what this one looks like. And we are done with Pat McGrath. So now I'm going to move on to this one right here. This is my only palette from OPV Beauty. Um, this is called Bloom. This is such a pretty palette. You guys look at this. Like look at this palette. Oh my goodness. Like when you look at this, you just feel inspired. Like you just want to play with color, like be bold and daring. I love, love, love this palette a lot. All right, and then next up is this Makeup Revolution palette. This is the Patricia Bright palette. Oof, y'all can see all that reflective stuff. Let me show you guys inside of this. This is what this one looks like. I honestly have not been able to really play around with this palette. Like, this is when I was just really buying stuff and just buying stuff and not even getting around to using it. But yes, this is just a really bright, bold, colorful palette. It does have like two pressed glitters in there. Ugh, I hate that it has this red pressed glitter, you guys. If you're new to my channel, I think I think red glitter is ugly. Like it's just, it's ugly to me. But yes, this is what this palette looks like. My arms are starting to hurt with the way I have this set up to film. Oh, and I'm not even done with the first row, you guys. This is why I put off filming this video. I should have asked somebody to come help me do this. <laughs> but next I have here, this is the Tammy X Revol uh, Makeup Revolution palette that also came out in 2020. This is their Tropical Twilight. And this is what this palette looks like. So it's it's great because it has a lot of neutral shades at the top. Oh my gosh, the lighting, the lighting, the lighting. My arm is hurting. All right, so it has a lot of neutral palettes up at the top and then it has some more um, colorful shades at the bottom. It does come with three pressed glitters in here and yeah, this is this palette. Okay, next up is one of my favorite palettes in my collection. This is the Be Perfect Carnival 3 Love Tahiti palette in collaboration with Stacey Marie. Oh my goodness, this palette is gorgeous. This is the inside. Look at this, you guys. Do y'all see that pink? Like, y'all, I definitely got my use out of that um, pink shade. I don't feel like I used it that much, but apparently I did. But yes, this is this palette right here. Truly one of my favorite palettes in my collection. Next is the Sample Beauty, the Painter's Palette in collaboration with Beth Painter. All right, and this right here is just a beautiful rainbow palette. You guys, if you were following me in 2020, you knew my obsession with collecting rainbow palettes. So this is one of those that I did collect and I have no regrets. I love this palette. All right, so next up I have all of my Norvina palettes. So I'm just gonna show you guys one by one. So this is the Norvina Volume 1 palette. And this is the inside of this palette right here. Just a beautiful purple palette, purple pink palette with some like coral shades in it. Next, this is the Norvina Volume 2 palette. And this is gonna be more of your blue green tone palette with some like yellows in there and occasionally a uh, bold pink <laughs> in there as well too. 
Next, we have the Norvina Volume 3 palette. And this is what this one looks like. This is your like warm toned orange coral neutral plum shade palette. This is just a beautiful fall looking palette to me, in my opinion. Love it. Next, we have one of my favorites from the Norvina um, collection. This is the Norvina Volume 4. Can you guess why? Do you see the color? It's pink. <laughs> this is the inside right here. I love this palette. I love the pressed glitter shades that she chose for this palette. Um, it's, it still has its neutral tones in here, but it still has occasional pops of pinks um, and lilac shades. I feel like it really stuck to the theme of it being like a very light pink palette with still having some color in there to do some like more deeper looks if you wanted to like that bold um, hot pink down there. So yes, love this. Next, we have the Norvina Volume 5 palette. And this is what this one looks like. It is just a purple neutral toned palette. And then the last one, this is the Norvina Volume 6. And I guess this is where she's stopping at because if I, my memory serves me right, she did not come up with a seventh one last year. Normally, after the first three, she was putting out one each year after that. So I guess she's done. But let me show you guys the inside of this. And this is what this palette looks like. It's colorful with some pressed glitters in here. Um, it's pretty much primarily all mattes from like the second row down. It does have a few like the two shimmer shades in here and then the other two are pressed glitters so yeah that's this palette okay next up i have my made by mitchell palette so this one right here this is the head in the clouds palette this is truly my favorite um palette from this brand hands down the best color story that they came out with love this and this is the inside of this palette i mean look at it this is so pretty like it has everything here it has pastels it has dark colors it has shimmers mattes like everything that you can just really need to create a very whimsical, fun look is this palette right here. Next is the Feet on the Ground palette. This right here is going to be your like green camel olive palette. And this is the inside of this palette. Yet again, um, another favorite of mine. I do like the other one more when it comes to color story, but if you are looking for like a nice olive green tone palette, I think this would be a great um, option. Love this. And then there's the Do You Want Some Milk palette. This is like my least favorite. Um, the color story was kind of like all over the place for me. And this is this one right here. Um, I don't know. I just feel like he did a better job with his first two palettes when he was putting together that color story. This one right here was just kind of really hard for me to be inspired because I don't know. I just, I just did not like the color story, but at the time, I was just a collector, so I was like, I'm gonna get it anyways, but yeah. Okay, and then the last three palettes are gonna be from Glam Light on this top row, so I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys these. So this is the Ice Cream Dream palette, and yes, it does actually move. And this is the inside of this palette. <sighs> Yet again, another beautiful palette. Um, if you are looking for a pastel palette, I think this would be a great option. I love the pastels in here and the shimmers. I feel like the pastels in here will work on darker skin because let's be honest, sometimes pastels don't be for, you know, for us. But this palette right here was done well to where this will show up on somebody who's dark, especially with the right primer. Next, we have the Glam Light, the paint palette. And I don't have to open this for you guys to see, but I'll go ahead and open it. <laughs> okay, and so this is the paint palette open. Uh, just a standard rainbow palette. The surrounding colors are all mattes with the inside being shimmers. Yeah. And then my last Glam Light palette it is the Cake palette. And yes, it looks, it comes in like a oven and then you gotta pull it out. But let me um let me go ahead and get this out and I'll show you guys. Like, isn't this so cool? And look, like they even put like the nutrition facts and it just has ingredients that like the actual shadows are made out of. Like it's like Glam Light is very creative with sticking to food themes or drink themes and making their palettes. They do a really good job at that. But yes, this is the inside of this palette. Just another colorful palette right here. Glam White has a really good um, formula, like eyeshadow formula when it comes to their masks and their shimmers. So yeah, no problems there. All right, so we are officially done with the first row. Now we're gonna move on to the bottom row. Um, not the bottom row, sorry. We're gonna move on to the second row. This primarily contains all of my, from here to here. It's all Juvia's Place palettes. And then I have my Anastasia ones, um, the, the ones that are not the Norvina palettes. And then I have some um, Plain and Makeup by Yolando palettes over there in the corner. So we're gonna go ahead and start from here and move our way down. So let me go ahead and pull out all of my Anastasia palettes and show you guys. So starting off with the one that started it all, this is my very first Anastasia palette. This is the Model Renaissance. As you guys can see, this is old. I think I got this palette like in 2016. Like this palette is old. Either Yeah, 2016 is when I think I bought this. And this is the inside of this palette. I still have my brush that it comes with. As you guys can see, I definitely have used this palette. Like I was in love with this palette when I got it because this shade right here, love it. And sorry if I'm saying love it so much or love, love. Like, I mean, <laughs> I need to find another... Um, 
adjective at this point. But anyways, this right here is the Jackie Ina palette. Of course, you know, had to support the girl. And this is it right here. I mean, what else is there to say? I mean, this palette is gorgeous. It's stunning. I will say um, the one thing that I probably would have wanted in here is just maybe like a darker brown um, shade. But overall, Jackie Ina did a phenomenal job creating this palette. Definitely got my use out of it. As you guys can see, this palette is all types of messy it was being used, okay? Next, we have the infamous subculture palette. <laughs> if you've been in the beauty community, you knew you knew this era. Like, we went from modern renaissance, which was a hit, a success. And when we saw the subculture, like, oh my gosh, yes, yes, yes. And when we saw the color story, we were like, oh yes, this is about to be it. Then people actually got their hands on it and the quality was not great. Now, I didn't pay for this. I got this for free when I was working at Sephora, and um, this is supposed to be one of the updated formulas where it should work better, but I'm not gonna lie. Or actually, I don't think they ever updated the formula. I think they just explained, at the time, we didn't know what a press, that's what it was. We didn't know what pressed pigments were like that, so we didn't understand how to apply them, and it was a whole controversy. This is one of my favorites from them, and this is the Alyssa Edwards. Yet again, why do I love this? Because it's hot pink, okay? This is another one that I got for free when I was working at Sephora. Um, yes, you guys, this is just a beautiful pink palette, purple palette. It's honestly, it's just, it's to me, it's like avant garde, like just bold, like, you know, with some nice neutrals over here and that beautiful dark black. Love it. Then we have the Riviera palette. Yet again, I didn't buy this, and that's why my name's at the top. Like, when we will get gratis for, like, when they will leave us stuff, they have to put our names on it because, you know, sometimes some managers, we want to take shit that don't belong to them and put it in their gratis box. So the girlies um, with the different brands, when they will bring us our gratis, um, started putting, like, names on it. So that way you can't sit up here and take somebody else's shit. But, yes, this is the inside of my palette or inside of the palette right here. Um, another, like, bold, fun palette with some, you know, neutrals in there and some shimmers at the top. This one right here, this is the Prism palette. And did I buy this? I think this I think this is the one that I bought. Cuz majority of these I did not buy them, but I don't I think I think I bought this one. I can't remember honestly. But this is what the inside looks like. Beautiful. Like I mean, it really is a pretty palette. It's a, it's a nice like kind of like neutral palette with still some fun colors in there and Anastasia, when it comes to their eyeshadow formulas, they're really good, except for subculture. I don't know what happened there. But for the most part, they have really good eyeshadow formulas. Then I have the Sultry palette. And this is what this one looks like. Um, yeah, this one was given to me. I, I got this free because I, I wouldn't have bought this for myself. <laughs> I actually won something when I was when I was working at Sephora. I think I won some game or some challenge we had, and that's how I ended up getting this. And then lastly, I have the Amrezy palette, another favorite of mine. I use this palette a lot as well too, especially like these bottom shades right here, definitely get my use out of it. And then this shimmer right here and yeah, no, no, yeah. This shimmer right here, definitely get my use out of. All right, next up is Juvia's Place. I'm gonna try my hardest to run through these because I have so many. It's well over, I think 40 palettes at this point. I don't even know, but I'm gonna really run through these. So starting off with the quads that I have from Juvia's Place. So this is the mints. This is the Army, and this is what this one looks like. Next is the Honey, and this is what this one looks like. Next is the Grays, and this is what this one looks like. Next is the Melissa palette, and this is what this one looks like. Next is the, um, this is the Disco palette, and this is what this one looks like. And then the last quad I have here, this is the Fula palette. And this is what this one looks like. This one's not a quad, sorry. It's not one, but I mean, we'll put it in here. It's the only one that's a nine pan palette on its own. Um, that's like in the pan, it's like has square pans. So yeah, it got put here with the rest of them. All right, moving on. I'm gonna have to pull these all out. These are all of my six pan palettes. I'm just gonna have to bring these out in sections because it's a lot of them. Okay, so this is the chocolates. And this is what this palette looks like. The berries. And this is the inside of this palette. Then we have the violets. And this is the inside of this palette. Next we have the mauves. And this is the inside of this palette. The sweet pinks, just a nice pink palette, all pink palette. The taupes, and this is what this one looks like. Then we have the nudes, and this is what this one looks like. And this is a great palette to either, for, at least for me and my skin tone, this is a palette that I pair with other palettes. This is the La Mariposa palette, and this is the inside of this one. We have the Vanessa palette, 
And this is the inside of this one. We have the Olori 1 palette. Here's the inside. We have the Olori 2. And here is the inside of this palette. We have the Olori 3. And here's the inside. This is the Blushed Rose palette. Here's the inside. Here is the Bronze palette. Next, we have the Nubian Royal. Sorry if this is going really quickly, but you know, I do have a lot of palettes and um, a lot of this, a lot of the palettes that I do have here, I have videos talking about them in detail and tutorials. So just look through my channel if there's anything you're interested in. Majority of a lot of the stuff that I have, I did record a video on them. Next, we have the Nubian Glow and this is the inside of this palette. I live, I love palette. This is probably one of my least favorite of their um, palettes that they put out, but I do collect Juvia's Place eyeshadow palettes. I still bought it. Um, so as a palette on its own, it's not my favorite, but you know, with eyeshadow palettes, you're definitely able to pair them with other things. So yeah, this is this one. And then we have the I Live, I Love Ice palette. And this is the inside of this one. That glitter in here, like the pressed glitter, is probably the best thing about this whole palette. It's so pretty, but yeah. And those are my six pan palettes. So now we're gonna go ahead and get into the other ones that have fell, but yeah, so it's gonna be the bigger palettes that we're about to get into now. Okay, so this is the Queen palette. This was the first palette that Fumi collaborated with. I showed you guys earlier the Disco palette. And so this is this one. This right here is really more so like a multi-purpose palette. So it can be used for the eyes, the face, um, really whatever you wanna do is you can use these as blushes, you can use them as eyeshadows. It, to me, it's just like a multi-purpose palette. Then we have the OG. This is where it all started for them, the Nubian palette. And this is this one. Y'all, when this palette came out, this was this was amazing. Like people, people loved it. But honestly, looking at this in 2024, yeah, I don't think I would have bought this now. But back then, this was like a perfect neutral palette. But mm, yeah, but yeah, this is where it started for them. Next, we have the Nubian three coral palette. And as the palette says, it's a coral palette with some gray tones in there. Next, we have the Nubian Earth. And this is what this palette looks like. We have the Saharan Blush Volume 1 palette. This is the inside of this one. We have the Saharan Blush Volume 2 palette. And this is the inside of this one. We have the Saharan palette, which is one of my favorite color stories that they did put out. Like this one's really, really pretty. And this is the inside of this one. And then we have the Afrique palette. And this is this one on the inside. Okay, so we have the Nomad palette, which till today, this really irks my nerve that they didn't make this palette, like the Nomad to be the same size as the rest of the other nine pan palettes. Like it really irritates me that they did this. Like, ugh, it's just the odd man out. But anyways, this is the inside of this palette. This was really popular when it came out. A lot of people loved this and it was constantly selling out. So. Yeah, this was really popular at the time and it's still a very beautiful palette. Great, just grungy type of palette for anybody who likes tones like that. Then we have the Warrior palette and this is the inside of this one. We have the Warrior 2, which I believe this was their first all matte palette at the time. And here is the inside of this palette. Then we have the Warrior 3 and this is what this one looks like, just a nice colorful tone palette. Then we have the Zula palette. And this is what this one looks like. Yet again, another colorful tone palette. It's very similar to the Warrior 3. Um, well, well, not sim well, yes, yeah, similar, but they are different shades. Um, there are definitely palettes that would really pair well together if you just wanted like two nice colorful tone palettes. Then we have the Deuce, which is another palette that I love this, like another palette of theirs that I love the color story. And this is the inside of this one. We have the Festival palette. And here's the inside of this palette. This one right here, honestly, it's really pretty, but I will say I'm, it's very hard for me to come up with looks just this, with this palette alone. Um, I don't know, it, it, it really is a challenge for me to just think of something because I don't naturally think to pair some of these shades with each other. So yeah. Then we have the Tri palette. Yet again, another palette that people loved when this palette came out. Like it sold very well. And this is the inside. It's just a nice green palette. Gorgeous. Then we have one of my favorites. This is the Saharan 2, which with my last ranking um, Juvia's Place palettes, this one did get bumped down from number one. Um, I ended up going with a different palette that I ended up loving more, but still nonetheless, one of my favorites from them. And this is the inside of this palette. I mean, till today, she will always be that girl, especially this shade right here. Oh my goodness. 
Okay, so we have the Candy Shop palette, which the artwork on here is gorgeous, but I feel like they put more energy into the artwork and I really wish that they would have, you know, put a little more, I don't want to say they didn't put energy into the palette, but I felt like they could have been much more creative with the color story. Like the colors, it's, it's pretty, right? But I wish they would have had some more purple, some more pastel shades, because you see with the artwork, like they have that pink, purple, blue, and then when you kind of get into the palette, there's no purple, you know? So... That's something that I feel like they could have just added a little bit more in here. But yeah, this is this palette. Then we have the Garden of Juvius palette. And this is the inside of this one. This is, I think this was probably their first true pastel palette that they put out. This next, we have the Coffee Shop palette, which is my favorite palette. When I say I use this palette every single time I do my makeup, like ever since I got this palette, I have been using this nonstop. Like I love, love, love this palette. And this is the inside, like you guys. One, two, three, like these shades are here. One, two, three, four, five, six. I use those six shades every single time I do my eyeshadow. Like I love this palette. I recommend it to anybody who wants a nice neutral palette. The coffee shop is the way to go. Love this. Next, we have the Nubian 2. This is actually the very first palette I ever bought from Juvia's Place. And this is the inside of this one. Next, we have the Afro Galactic, which I think this was their most recent release. And this is this one. Just, you know, very intergalactic style themed palette. We have the original Wahala palette, and this is this one. And then we have the Wahala 2 palette, and this is the inside of this one. First up, we have the Culture palette, and this is just a rainbow themed palette. And I would have to say, this was probably their first true rainbow palette. Like yes, Juvia's Place beforehand was putting out like colorful palettes, but like a true like, rainbow palette this was the first one and honestly out of all the tutorials that i've ever done for all their different palettes this by far was my favorite tutorial that i ever like my favorite look and you guys definitely ran up the numbers on that video like by like go go check it out if you're new to my channel go check out that look like i ate that okay i'm i'm, I'm gonna brag on myself like that was probably one of the best looks that i've created here on my channel love it then we have the culture two and this is this one. This is more like an olive green tone palette with some neutrals in there and some occasional other pops of colors like, you know, some plums and pinks and stuff. But yeah, this is this one. Then we have the Masquerade palette and I do have the larger size. They no longer sell it this big. I believe they still sell them, but they're just um, smaller, which honestly is better because you're never like, I know I'm never gonna get through this amount of product. And this is the inside of this palette right here. And then another personal fave of mine, this is the Magic palette. And this is the inside of this one. It's so pretty. Okay, and we are done with Juvia's Place. Now we are going to move on to Plain Makeup by Yolando. So starting off, we have the Jam Rock. This is their Wasikana palette. I hope I didn't say that wrong. But this is their version of a pastel palette. And keep in mind, Plain Makeup by Yolando is a black owned brand. So this palette is definitely for us, you know, women of color, this pastel palette right here. All right, and this is the inside of this palette right here. Next, we have the Serenity palette. This is in collaboration with Brit K Beauty. And this is this palette. I don't really feel like I've gotten much use out of this. Um, I definitely need to pull this out and use it more. But yeah, it's pretty much an all matte palette with um, shimmers. Like it has one shimmer here in the corner, one down here, one down here, one up here. And then these are all um, glitters. And then everything else is all mattes. Then we have the Artistry Vault palette, which is my favorite palette from the entire brand. This. Listen, if you didn't get your hands on this, I really feel bad for you because this is truly one of their best palettes. Um, this is in collaboration with Beauty by Melissa. Talented, when I say talented makeup artist, I believe she's based out of New York. So all the New Yorkers, you guys are lucky to have her out there because I don't let people do my makeup, but she's somebody I would let do my makeup. Like she is good, good, okay? Look at this, y'all. Truly, truly, truly one of my favorite palettes. I love that it's all neutrals over here with color over here and the neutrals are definitely brown skin girl chocolate girl friendly like i love 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 this palette i use it all the time as well too then next we have the beats by deb's palette this is the beat down palette and this is what this one looks like um just another colorful palette um and this is definitely reflective of beats by deb because if you guys follow her i do follow her she loves her color okay she is very bold with her eye look so this is definitely reflective of her personality then we have the jam rock the universal palette here and this is what this one looks like just another colorful 
palette also with neutrals built into it. This is honestly a, a well-rounded palette as well too. It has everything here that you really could, you know, use to create all types of looks. And then lastly, this is the Jamrock the No Limitations um, palette. And this is the inside of this palette right here. All right, so we are done with the second row. I have dropped you guys down. Um, so we can go ahead and see the third row. So here, we have this palette right here. This is by Pinky Rose Cosmetics. I don't know if this brand is still around, but this is their center stage palette. And this is what this one looks like. Just a neutral palette with like a pressed or two pressed glitters in here. And now we're about to get into my Clarity, Co let me actually pull them all out. We're about to get into my Clarity Cosmetics palette. All right, so we have the Magic Lamp palette. And this is what this one looks like. Next, we have the Cobra palette, and I do have the older version. So if you go on their website, they have changed all of their pa palettes to be square pa square pans. So this is the inside of the Cobra palette. I, I have the palette with the circle pans. And to be honest, I like square pants. I kind of wish that I was, you know, they would have changed it before, you know, they released this initially. But yes, this is this one. Then my personal favorite from the brand, this is the Berry Royal palette. This is no longer available, which I'm really bummed about. But yeah. Um, this is a really good palette. And here is the inside of this palette. Next, we have the Melanin Chronicle palette. Me oh, sorry, Melanin Chronicles palette. And this is the inside of this one right here. Next, we have the Bloom palette. And you guys, I just noticed something. Doesn't the background of this palette remind you of the background that they use for the Real Housewives of Miami, like their um, intro um theme song or whatever like this is the background it's, it's very similar doesn't it if anybody watches Miami Housewives yeah but anyways this this is the inside of the bloom palette right here just a beautiful like blue green mauve tone palette and then last up is my least favorite palette from them and this is the so amazing palette but honestly this was their top seller like this so like crazy people love this palette a lot from them. This one did come a little bit broken, but this is this one right here. This was not broken at first. I think it just, it happened recently. Oh, it's a mess, but yes, this is this one. All right, next I have my Gimme Glow palette. So this is the Christmas morning palette. And this is the inside of this palette right here. Very Christmas themed. This is the Vintage Rose palette. And this is this one. Oh my goodness, you guys. Like, isn't this so pretty? Like, this is so, 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 so beautiful. Next, I have the Vivid Rose palette. And this is the inside of this one. Then we have the Pastel Dreams. Another good um, pastel palette. Um, if you're looking for one, especially if you are a woman of color, this is another good one. And this is the inside of this. This right here, like truly is a pastel palette. Like, and I love how it has the corresponding shimmer shade to the matte shades. Just, and Gimme Glow, their quality of eyeshadows is amazing and their shimmers are out of this world. So yes, you would love this. I don't know if, there's, if this is still available, but if it is and you're looking for a pastel palette, check this out. Now I'm going to show you guys all of my Alter Ego palettes. Every last one of them, except for one, was sent to me in PR. So let me go ahead and run through these as well too. Okay, so here we have the Midsummer palette and this is what this one looks like. Now, Alter Ego is known to replicate or duplicate really well-known palettes. They primarily do a lot of Anastasia, Pat McGrath, Natasha Denona, and Huda Beauty palettes. This one right here is supposed to be a dupe for that um, Anastasia palette that came out. I can't remember, it's the, it's the Norvina one that's like in this shape. I never got around to using this. They did send this to me, but I never got around to like actually making a video or even using it. So this one is completely untouched, but this is this palette. Then we have the Luster palette. And this is this is the inside of this one. This is supposed to be a um, dupe to the Mothership, the Pat McGrath Mothership 7 palette. All right, next, this is the Goddess palette. This is the only palette from them that I've ever actually purchased myself. And this is the inside of this one. I'm sorry if I can't, like you guys, like, listen, I have not been paying attention to a lot of makeup palettes and I've kind of forgotten some things. I do know that this is supposed to be a dupe to a Natasha Denona palette, but I cannot remember the name of it. But yes, this is this one. Then we have the Shadow Kiss palette. And this is the inside of this one. Yet again, this is another dupe to another Natasha Denona palette. I cannot remember the name of that one though. Next, we have the Canyon palette. And this is the inside of this one. This one is a dupe for Natasha Denona. I believe it's their bronze palette. Yes. Next. This is the Sahara palette, and this is the inside of this one. I cannot remember what this is supposed to be a dupe for, but I wanna say it's a Natasha Denona palette. I just can't remember. Next, we have the Aurora palette, and yet again, this is another dupe to another Natasha Denona palette. Next is the Harmony palette, and this is the inside of this one. Then we have the Sakura palette. 
This one I never got around to actually using. They sent it to me, but I just, I never got around to posting a video about it. And this is this one. As you guys can see, you kind of see why I did not do a video. This isn't really my style. I don't really like colors like this. Well, not colors like this, but it's just, it's a little too, um, there was no, there was no deep enough mattes in here. So I just didn't feel inspired. So I just, I never really got around to making a video on this palette. Next is the Blooms. And this is the inside of this one. This is yet again, another replica or duplicate dupe for the Natasha Denona palette. Don't know the name of that one. I forgot, but yes. Then we have the Mirage palette. And this is the inside of this one. This one is a dupe for a Huda Beauty palette. Um, and it does have like the cream gel liners. I did make a video on this one. So there is a tutorial on this palette. And some of the other ones, I didn't mention all the ones that I did, but there is, I definitely do have tutorials on some of these palettes. So definitely check through my channel if you're interested. Then we have the Coastal palette. And this is the inside of this one. And I believe this is also a dupe for a Huda Beauty palette as well too. Yes, it is because it has that weird looking thing. And remember Huda had that and we we're all like, what the hell is that? Is that COVID in a in a, in a pan? <laughs> yes, I remember that. Oh my gosh. But anyways, yeah, this is this palette. And then lastly, we have the Artemis palette here. And this is the inside of this one. This is a dupe for a Natasha Denona palette. <sighs> okay, now we're gonna get into all of my Ace Bute palettes. So starting off, this is this one right here. This is the Paradise Fallen palette. And this is the inside of this one. Majority of these were all sent to me as well in PR. I think there's only two of them that I actually bought with my own money. But yeah, this is this one right here. Then we have the Slice of Paradise palette. Just a pretty rainbow colorful palette here. Then we have the Envy palette. If you love greens and blues, you will love this palette. This is this one right here. And also Ace Beauty, because I, I remember they used to have an issue with their formula where people didn't like it, but by the time that they reached out to me and started sending me stuff, they had already changed stuff. So I've never had any issues with their eyeshadows. They all perform very well. Then we have the Aura palette, which this is just a beautiful purple tone palette here. Next, we have the Oceanic palette. And this is the inside of this one, just a blue green palette right here. Next, we have the ambiance palette. And this is the inside of this one, just, you know, a grungy tone palette. That's what this one really gives me, grungy tone, warm fall type of palette. That's the vibes of this. This right here is one of my personal favorites from the brand. This is the Tropical Vibes palette. I think this was the very first palette that I ever bought from them. And this is where, um, I, yeah, 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 this is where I started. I bought this palette, did a tutorial, and that's when the brand reached out to me and we've worked on other themes in the past, but yeah, it's this one. And so this is what this palette looks like. I mean, look at her, look at her. And I, I was so mad when I passed on this first when they did the initial release, I was like, I should have bought this. And when they re-released, I got my hands on this so quickly. Next, we have the Flare palette. And this is the inside of this one. Next, we have the Palette palette. And yet again, another favorite of mine. I mean, look at this pinks, purples, like, I mean, beautiful grungy tones. And, you know, it has some blues in there as well too. Then we have the Floral Vintage palette. And this is what this palette looks like right here. Very like neutral tone with some like olive shades and some berry tone shades in here. And then we have the Quintessential, Quintessential palette. And this is the inside of this palette. I don't think I've actually ever gotten around to really using this palette, but yes, this is this one. I do have some other ones from them, but they're down below them. Um, they didn't fit up here, but yeah, I'll show you guys those later. But for now, these are the ones that I do have up here, the bigger palettes. Okay, so we are back, you guys, and it's a separate day. Um, <laughs> I basically could not keep filming that day that I started this because my battery died and it was just a lot going on. But yes, let's go ahead and get back into this. So starting off with my Beauty Bay palettes, this is the Berries palette, and this is what the inside of this palette looks like. It is just a stunning, gorgeous, berry toned palette. They do have bigger ver they have different versions of their berries in the next two palettes I'm gonna show you guys, but yes, this is this one. And then I have here the Earthy palette, and this is the inside of this palette. It is just a beautiful green tone palette. I absolutely love it. Every time I look at it, I just fall in love. Like to 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 believe that I almost pass on this is crazy, but yes. And then next I have the Midnight palette. And this is what this palette looks like. It is a blue and purple toned palette. Next we have the New Romantic. And this is the inside of this palette. So this yet again is kind of like another berry toned palette, um, like cranberry shades with a little bit of some neutrals in there. Then we have the Love Notes palette. And this is the inside of this one. I think this is where I stopped buying Beauty Bay palettes. Um, I think I was just starting to get bored. I think they had put out a lot of their fun palettes and it was starting to get boring. So this one right here is, some berry tone shades, some purples, and some neutrals. Honestly, it's very boring and I bought it. They're super cheap, but looking at it, probably could have passed on this. And I think that's why, like I said, I stopped buying them because 
Um, once you have a certain amount, it's like they all start to just start to look the same, you know? Next up is the Wilderness palette. And this is the inside of this one. It's yet again, another like green tone palette. Has some blues in there, has some more um, like red tones with some like warm shades over here. Next is the Sunset Horizons. And this is the inside of this palette. Um, just another, you know, palette yet again with warm tone shades, berry shades, some blues and purples. See, this is why I stopped buying. I was like, this is starting to get a little repetitive. Even though you guys are like, well, Whitney, you just bought all those Juvia's Place palettes that have the same thing. I know, I know, I know. But listen, maybe Juvia's Place, they're going to always have a special place in my heart. But anyways, next up is the Age of Opulence. This is one of my favorites, I would say, from their palettes that I do have. I really like this color story a lot. And here is the inside of this one. Yet again, it's purple, blue toned shades. But um, the blue tones in here, I actually like this type of blue, like more of a cooler purple, like blue purple. And yeah, so this is this palette right here. Oh, sorry, let me make sure it's in frame. This is this. Next, we have the Book of Magic palette. And here's the inside. <laughs> Yet again, blue purple tones. As you guys can see, Beauty Bay has done their fair share of blue, purple, green, berry shades. And I'm good. I think I have enough. So yeah. And then the last of my Beauty Bay palettes, this is the Nikki Tutorials collab palette. Um, I, I don't know if it had a name, but this is this palette. Let me go ahead and open it for you guys. So kind of have to open it kind of weird, but this is the inside of this palette. Um, pretty shades. I just felt like it was not as cohesive. I feel like I said this in my review. I feel like a lot of the shades are just kind of placed here. They're pretty on their own, but it's kind of hard to come up with um, looks with just this palette. Like just looking at it, I feel like I have to really stop and think about what I want to do. It's not something where I can just like, okay, you know, start putting things together but yeah this is this palette right here okay so i have moved us down we are now on the last um bookshelf and we have three more rows to go through so let's go ahead and get into this so here i have my melt palette so starting off with i have the gemini palette and this is what this one looks like it is a green, a green, i was trying to say brown and green at the same time it is a green brown neutral toned palette then I have the Manel, Manel, what? I cannot speak. I have the M Millennial Pinks. Why am I saying that so incorrectly? And this is what this palette looks like. It is a pink tone palette, blush tone palette really, with um, some gray and black in there. Then we have the 420 palette. And this is the inside of this palette. This is a very pretty palette when it comes to the color story, but I will say, the actual quality of this is not my favorite. And a lot of these shades, honestly, once like you start to put them on your, your eye, like they all start to look the same. Like they don't really stand out like separate colors. So yeah, this is a little bit of a disappointment, but it's pretty to look at. Next, we have my DD um, signature palettes or well, some of them. So let's go ahead and get into these. I have here, this is the Tropical Skewer palette. And this is what this one looks like. It is um, really like an orange brown palette with um, a black in there and a silver shade. Then we have the Exotic Skewer palette. And this is what this one looks like. It's more of a, more green tones in here with some purples and some pinks, but yeah. Then we have the Juicy Skewer palette. And this is what this palette looks like. It is more of a pink, cranberry shade and I love this banana shade. Oh, this is such a pretty color, but yeah, this is his palette. Then we have the Caramel Skewer palette. And this is what this one looks like. It kind of reminds me of a crayon box, like, <laughs> if that makes sense. Like, that's what this color sort of reminds me of, just like a crayon box. And then we have the Neutral Wonder eyeshadow palette. And this is what this one looks like. I actually like this one the most out of all the palettes I have from DD Signature. Um, I feel like it's the most versatile when it comes to just being able to use this palette and use it only alone because it has um, a good amount of mattes and shimmers and it has a good amount of neutral tone shades and dark enough shades for me to like, you know, do deeper looks and the shimmers are really pretty. And so yeah, I would say this is probably my favorite one out of the bunch that I do own from DD Signature. All right, so I have some more Makeup Revolution eyeshadow palettes here I'm gonna go through. Starting off with, this is the 24K Gold. And this is what this palette looks like. It is just a neutral palette with some pressed glitters in here. And I believe this is a eyeshadow base or a primer. So you can use that and then apply the shadows on. I already have a primer that I like to use. So I've never really actually played with this, but yeah. Then we have this palette. Um, I don't, what is this called? Oh, okay. This is called the new neutral palette. Um, and this is what this one looks like. Neutral, with some pressed glitters and you know, that one pop of blue. I hope you guys are able to see this in it. Okay, yeah, okay, good. Then we have this palette right here. This is called the, oh, hold on. This is the new neutral passion palette. What is this one? 
Oh, okay. So this one that I just showed you guys, this is the new neutral blushed palette. Excuse that, you guys. I was making a hamburger and I popped myself with some oil. So excuse that on my finger. Yes. This is the Passion palette. And this is what this one looks like. It is neutral with some purple pinks in here and still some more pressed glitter. So yeah. Then we have the Tammy Revolution palette. This is her Tropical Carnival one. I think this one came out before the bigger one that I showed you guys earlier in the video. And this is what this looks like. It is just a colorful palette with some shimmers. And Makeup Revolution is more on the affordable side. So um, these weren't too expensive, these palettes that I bought. They're rather inexpensive. And I believe you can get um, these at Ulta. I'm not sure about the ones that I currently have because I bought them um, back in 2020. But I know that they do carry Makeup Revolution at um, Ulta. So if you were looking for um, a brand with some pretty good, you know, quality shadows, inexpensive, and you want to buy it in store, check out Makeup Revolution. They are sold in Ulta. All right, next I have these two palettes by Certify. Starting off with this one, this is the Affinity palette. And this is what this palette looks like. I love it. It reminds me of the Jaclyn Hill palette, the one with Morphe, I think it's her second palette. The color story, oh, let me back up so you guys can see this. So yeah, this is this palette. And then we have the Affinity 2. And this is what this palette looks like. It is a green blue palette here. Next I have here, this is the Smoky Glow palette in collaboration with Midas Cosmetics. I believe Midas is no longer around. I believe they have closed for business, but this is the inside of this palette. Love it. And then Smoky Glow, she's not nearly as um, active on social media anymore, but love this palette, love her content. But yeah, this is this palette. Another palette that I have from Midas Cosmetics, this is the Flower Bomb palette. And this is the inside of this palette. It is just, honestly, it just screams spring. It's just very vibrant, vivacious, colorful, has those pressed glitters in there. Um, by the way, I am one of the people, the few people that don't mind pressed glitters. I know a lot of people don't like them, but they actually don't bother me. But yeah, this is them. Then I have this palette from She Glam, which is Shein's um, makeup brand. And it's called the Artistry Palette. And this is what this one looks like. I bought this for a video purpose only, like just to do a video on it and have not really come back to this palette. But yeah, I wanted to try out their, their, their makeup to see if it was any good. And then I also have this palette here by um, She Glam, and this is called the Glitz Wiz palette. And this is what this one looks like. It's supposed to be a dupe for the Natasha Denona, their Metropolis palette, that's what it's called. That's the one that I was showing you guys earlier by Alter Ego, they have their version as well. And then this is the one from Shein. Um, I did do a video on this, I believe, so yeah. All right, so up next I have some Huda Beauty palettes. Starting off with this one, this was where it all started. Sorry, let me face it this way. Um, what is this called again? I forgot. This is the Rose Gold Edition palette. Um, this was the very first release of this palette. They have since then, um, I believe, reformulated and repackaged. So it's no longer the clear. And you know, who to love to see her face on all her stuff. Um, baby, who to be saving money on the models? But um, it now has her eyes on it. But this was the original packaging um, to see through. And yeah, this is back when, <laughs> anyways, let me move on. Next up, we have the new nude palette. This is what I'm talking about. Like all of her palettes now have like her on it. Like <laughs> if, if you go into Sephora, stop and look at the Huda Beauty display and you will see that it's her face everywhere. I noticed, I was like, baby, who does that? I'm not spending money on models. I can sit up here and model this stuff on my own self. So this is what this palette looks like in here. Um, pretty neutral. Not really much to say, but yeah. <laughs> and then I have here, this is the Desert Dusk palette. And this is the inside of this one. And I have a strong feeling that I didn't buy either of these two palettes. I remember, I know I bought this one for sure. I know I did. I want to say I got these in gratis when I worked at Sephora, but yeah, these are these two palettes. Moving on, we have some Jaclyn Hill Morphe palettes here. So this is this one. Um... I don't have the name. Okay, here it goes. Okay, yeah, okay, do I have the name. This is the Bling Boss, the Bling Boss palette. Then we have the Ring the Alarm, and it looks like this. Next, we have the Armed and Gorgeous palette, and this is what this one looks like. Um, pretty neutral with one olive shade in there. And this is the Dark Magic palette. And this is what this one looks like. Just more of a darker green tone shade palette. Next, I have this palette here by NYX Cosmetics. This is their Fire palette. And this is the inside of this one. 
not really much to say, just pretty simple. Then I have here, this is the It's My Ray Ray palette in collaboration with BH Cosmetics. I, don't, I also don't think BH Cosmetics is around anymore, but this is what this palette looks like. So it's one that you kind of flip. So it has like the contour shades and the highlight shades, and then you also have the shadows. This was when like multi-purpose palettes were, I guess, like really popular. And so, yeah, this is what um, It's My Ray Ray came up with, and I love it. I really like this palette when it came out, so yeah. Next, we have some palettes. Um, this is the Sweet Shop Collection with BH Cosmetics. So this is the palette here, Cherry on Top. And this is the inside of this palette. Then we have the pistachio palette. Rest in peace to this one because it does have a broken shade. So that one fell out. Um, it came broken and then eventually just all fell out. And I believe I caught it on camera too, which is crazy. But yeah, this is this palette. This is their green um, palette from this collection. Then we have the bubblegum palette. And this is just a blue tone palette here. And then we have the cotton candy. And this is what this one looks like. Um, just whimsical, like pink, purple shades. I feel like they did a really good job when it came to this collection and it's really sad that they're no longer around because you know BH was there when I started my makeup journey back in high school like I remember BH Cosmetics and Coastal Scents was where the girls went to get the 88 you know mega palettes you know get all the shadows <laughs> and so yeah it's, it's 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 unfortunate but anyways let's continue on next I have this palette right here from Dominique Cosmetics is this brand still around because I, I don't keep up with her I you know I don't know is it still around but this is the inside of this one right here um I say I would say this palette is nice but one thing I don't like and it reminds me of Morphe is that the shadows are a little too um hard pressed so it feels like you're having to do a lot of work to kind of get it on your brush because of how firmly pressed they are into the pants so yeah that's something I don't like about her formula and then I also have this one right here the Celestial Storm palette and this is the inside of this one yet again um and when I say it's hard pressed it really applies to the shimmers the mattes are not too bad but the shimmers yeah, it's really hard to get them onto the brush, but yeah. This right here, this is the Morphe um, palette in collaboration with Kathleen Lights. This is old school, and this is what this one looks like. <laughs> oh my goodness. I for, like I don't remember buying this, but yeah. Next, we have the BH Cosmetics Trendy in Tokyo palette. And this was just a colorful rainbow palette. You guys remember when I was... This was this, 2020 was the year that I was buying everything rainbow. Like, everything rainbow, I wanted... A palette like that. I don't know why. I just was into it. Then we have this right here. This is the September Rose Slush Palette. Well, let's start with this one. This is the Slush, the original one. And this is the inside of this palette. Colorful, bright. Um, it's primarily all mattes with like, I think, five or six shimmers in here. And then we have the Slush 2, which is an add-on to that palette. So this one's an all matte palette and it's yet again a colorful palette. So these two, let me hold them up side by side, hold on. So these are them held up side by side. Um, the shades do not repeat. They just literally, whatever was missing in this one, it's like they added it in here. So whatever purples could have been added on or blues, they put them in here and yeah. Next I have these two palettes from Violet Voss. So this right here is their Hourglass palette. And I have shadow all over my hands, but this is this one looks, but this is what this one looks like. Um, very boring. It's just a neutral tone palette. Um, I don't know why I bought this, but I can tell you right now, if it was 2024 in this day and age, what well, is 2024? Well, I can tell you this, in this day and age, I would not have purchased this, but for whatever reason I did, I bought it, but yeah. Oh, this is called the Holy Grail palette, not Hourglass, it's the Holy Grail palette. <laughs> And then this is the hashtag palette. And this is what this one looks like. It is a neutral palette with some purples. It's kind of given sunset. Yet again, it's pretty, but would I have bought this in 2024? Absolutely not. But for whatever reason, I bought it in, in the year that I bought it in. It was probably like 2018, 2017. I can't remember, but yeah. Next up, I have this palette right here. This is the Lunar Beauty palette. This is Manny MUA's um, brand. And this is the Strawberry Dream palette. And this is what this palette looks like. It's so pretty. Like, this is the only palette I have from him. And, like, he has other stuff that I like, but I just never got around to buying anything else from him. But, yeah. So, I have here, this is the Rude Cosmetics. This is their Roaring 20s Neons palette. And this is what this one looks like. Um, just another pink, purple, neon type of palette. Ooh, this pink just looks so pretty. I love shades like that. Just gorgeous. Then I have here, this is the Roaring 20s, the Reckless palette. And this is what this one looks like. It is a like olive -y toned, purplish. Olive, it's more primarily olive tones with some other stuff in there with some berries, purples, but yeah. <laughs> then I have this palette here. This is from the brand, um, 
from the brand Ditto Cosmetics because I could not remember. This is their Hera palette and this is the inside of this palette. And then I have here, this is the Sweetheart palette from the brand Lurella. At this point, I was just buying stuff from brands that I don't even know like that. And this is what this palette looks like. It's very pretty. It's, it is it is a pretty palette, but man. All right, and then we're gonna go ahead and get into my Colored Rain palettes. So starting off with the original, where it all started from, this is the Queen of Hearts palette. And this is the inside of this one. Um, now, this was so revolutionary in the year it came out, but honestly, in 2024, it's very basic. But when it came out initially, it was so pretty. Sorry, I think the light, like I was holding it where the lighting was messing up. But yeah, this is what this palette looks like. Then we have the pa palette that tried to follow up the Queen of Hearts. This is the Cheers to Beauty palette. I don't feel like this one got the same like hype and love that, you know, Queen of Hearts did. But this is what this one looks like. Um, and then it has this random like highlighter here or I don't know if this is a highlighter or a brown brow bone shade but whatever it is they have this here and then yeah it has the mattes and then the shimmers. Next I have the Safari Rain palette. One of my favorites from the brand this is this one. This is no longer being sold. They did multiple restocks and it is gone and it's unfortunate because this is truly one of their best palettes but I think there was something to why they could not make it permanent but yeah. Then we have the Power Palette. So this is in collaboration with the TV show Power. And this is what this one looks like. Yet again, another very pretty palette. And let me just say, when it comes to colored rain and the quality, at least up until the one I'm gonna get to, quality is amazing. Um, these shadows perform very well. The shimmers are very pretty. Next up, this is the Colored Rain, their Vivid Pigments palette. And I thought I hated this palette for the longest, but I was finally able to create a look using it. Let me show you guys the inside. So this is just a colorful rainbow palette. Um, I was able to finally create a look with it. I, it was just user error, like, and that's the only downside is buying this. You know, you will, if you're not somebody that's too, you're not too well versed in makeup and how to do a lot of things, I can see people being frustrated with this palette. And then we have the Juicy Boost palette. This did not get the best reviews here on YouTube. A lot of people did not care for this. Um, this is the inside of this palette. Um, it's primarily all matte with three shimmers right here on the left side. It was cool. It, it was a cool palette. Was it my favorite? No, but it wasn't that bad. All right, so now I'm on the floor. Let's go ahead and get started. So I have here, this is the Moschino. Um, this is not a toy. This is their Moschino palette. And this is what this palette looks like. Um, I bought this purely for the packaging. I thought it was cute. <laughs> and then you can also like actually pull it out here if you didn't want to. Um, I don't know, I guess you wanted to take it out, but yeah. I have a bunch of like little small palettes. So I have this Charlotte Tilbury palette. This is the Super Blue palette. And this is what this one looks like, super blue. This is two blue, sh blue shades in here. But like Charlotte is very dramatic, but this is what this palette looks like. This is the um, Norvina Volume 1. This is the mini palette, I believe. Yeah, the mini. And this is the inside of this palette. Then we have here, this is the Norvina Mini Volume 3. And this is what this palette looks like. Then we have the Norvina um, Mini Volume 2. And this is what this palette looks like. Then I have here, this is just a quad um, of shadows from JD Globe Cosmetics. These are some of their duochromes and multi-chromes. So I just put them into this um, Anastasia palette that I had that was empty. I just put the shades here. So I have here, this is the Lawless palette, the one, or the baby one. And oh, I can't even open this. I cannot open this. Oh, snap. Okay, there we go. Cannot open that. So this is what this palette looks like. Then I have here, this is the Makeup by Mario palette. This is their Master Mattes. And this is what this palette looks like. Definitely got my use out of this. Um, it's a pretty good everyday palette. Then I have here, this is the Shayla X Dose of Colors. This is a wifey palette. Again, I get another palette I really love and got my use out of. Um, it's just a nice everyday palette that she created in with the mind of brides and, you know, this would be good bridal makeup, I guess, or a good bridal palette. Next, I have this palette here from Bobbi Brown. This is their Couture Drama. I don't think I've ever used this, but this is what this palette looks like. I got this in gratis. I just had the choice to pick something, and out of what was in the bin for me to pick from, this is the only thing that, that, made, that I wanted to pick. I didn't like any of the other stuff, so I just picked this up. Then I have here, these are some quads from Dee Dee Signature. We're going to run through these pretty quickly. So this is the Avocado palette. It is just a green palette. Then we have here the coconut palette, and this is what this one looks like. It's really pretty, actually. It's like a neutral palette with like that beautiful plum in the corner. Then we have the peach palette, and this is what this one looks like. Then we have the passion fruit palette, and this is what this one looks like. And then the last one here, it is the blueberry palette. 
and this is the inside of this palette. This right here, this these are some empty palettes. Well, there's shadows in here, but these are um, magnetic palettes from Sephora. And this is when Sephora used to have their single eyeshadows that were like in this bigger pan. Do y'all remember this? So I have some of these in here, some of their single shadows. This is the old formula. They don't have this anymore. They have it in a smaller pan now. Um, and they also come with like their own case. Um, you don't have to put them in a separate palette. And then I have this one right here. Um, just some more single shadows from Sephora collection. Wow, this is taking me back. This is so old school. <laughs> then I have here, this is the Nude Rose. This is actually an eyeshadow palette. This is a highlighter palette, but for whatever reason, I have it over here, but this is what this one looks like. So I have here, this is a NYX Cosmetics um, face palette. Yet again, I don't know why this is over here, but it is. Then I have this one right here. This is the NYX Cosmetics, their perfect filter. And this is what this one looks like. And then I also have here a, another face palette. This is their Sweet Cheeks um, blush palette. All right, and then I have this face palette here from Sephora Collection. It's just a highlighter palette. And then I have here, these are MAC single shadows, but they are in a Anastasia um, magnetic palette. Bought this years ago. This is so old. All right, next I have this face palette here. This is the, yeah, this is a face palette. This is the Makeup Geek um, palette in collaboration with Kathleen Lights. Um, so these are just some highlighters. Then I have one of my favorite palettes. This is the Artist Couture, their Supreme Nudes palette. And this is what this one looks like. Your girl has hit pan. Y'all, I love this palette. It's just a great neutral everyday palette. It's so pretty, it's perfect. All right, now moving on to the ColourPop section of my collection. I'm just gonna pull some of these out. So I have here, this is the Lovebird palette. And this is what this one looks like. Then we have the Just My Luck palette. And this is the inside of this one, just another green palette. Then we have the Shayla X ColourPop. This is the Proceed With Caution palette. And this is the inside of this one. And then we have the Smoke Show palette. And this is what this one looks like. This is great if you just need like a nice smoky palette, like you like to do smoky eyes. This would be great. Um, I don't believe it goes by Smoke Show anymore. I think they renamed it to something else. I think it's called Blowing Smoke now, but yes. Then I have here, this is the Yes Please palette. This was the first ever eyeshadow palette that ColourPop released. So like they they had their singles um, and stuff, but like the first ever press pink, like press eyeshadow palette, this was it. Next we have the Dream Street palette. This is a collab palette with Kathleen Lights and ColourPop. And this is what this one looks like. Very pretty neutral palette with like that beautiful teal in there. I think it's a really pretty palette. Then I have here, this is the Hocus Pocus palette. And this is what this one looks like. Then we have the Golden State of Mind palette. This was a limited release for Sephora only when ColourPop was briefly in Sephora. <laughs> and this is what the inside of this palette looks like. It was an all shimmer palette, so yeah. Then we have this one right here. This is the Gimme More palette. And this is actually a face palette. It's just all shimmer highlights, so yeah. And then we have this one right here. This is in the window. I don't know why I was about to struggle to say that. This is what this one looks like. Yet again, it's just another all highlighter palette. Next, we have my Perception palette. This is, yet again, another palette collab with um, Shayla and ColourPop. And this is the inside of this palette. As you guys can see, I got my use out of it. I also, I don't know how this cracked the mirror, but yes, I love this palette when it was released. And then I have here the Fade Into Hue palette. This is ColourPop's first rainbow palette like true rainbow palette like yes they put out other colorful palettes but like a rainbow palette this was their first one so yeah this is it okay so i said i had some more stuff from ace Bute, and this is it so i have here this is the cala palette and this is the inside of this one just like a nice neutral tone palette then we have the floor and this is the inside of this one is just a purple palette then we have here this is the begonia i think i'm saying that right i'm so sorry <laughs> and i love this color story this is so pretty like plum olive shades so pretty then we have the flora palette and this is just going to be your yellow toned warm brick like is that this is this is your warm tone palette. That's what I'm trying to say. This is going to be your warm tone palette. Then I have these two face palettes here from Ace Beauté. This one right here is called Blushed in Paradise. It is just a blush palette. And then I have this one here. This is called Bronze in Paradise. And this is just going to be a bronzer palette, which I need to get more use out of. Really, I can only use these two shades over here, really. But yeah. Then I have this palette right here. This is their Scarlet Dusk palette. And this is the inside of this palette. Just a, another berry toned warm palette. And then I have here, this is their Glow Essentials palette. And yet again, just another highlighter palette. 
Next up I have here, this is the Ruby May Their Spice Latte Palette. And this is what this one looks like. Very pretty. This is a pretty color story. Then I have here, this is their Peppermint Mocha Palette. Yet again, another very pretty color story like this. Shimmery red is very, very pretty. Then I have this palette right here. This is the I Am Palette by Oba, um, Cos or Oba Cosmetics, I believe. <laughs> and this is what this one looks like. Just another colorful palette. Then do y'all remember the Estee Edit? So it was a sub brand, I guess, for Estee Lauder, but it was its own thing. Well, anyways, I have some stuff from them. So this is a highlighter palette. This is like, this is so nostalgic because it's taking me back to my early days and so forth. But this is that one. And then they also came out with an eyeshadow palette. This is this palette right here. I don't know why I wanted these so badly, but like I would go to work and just stare at them all the time. And then I eventually just cave and bought them. I don't know why, because nothing about these are revolutionary. Then I have these two palettes here from um, Makeup Revolution. This is the collab palettes with Tammy. Um, so I showed you guys the eyeshadow palette earlier. So these right here are her face palettes. So this is a bronzer um, highlighter palette or bronzer blush highlight palette. Yes, this one's called Golden Hour. And then I have this one over here. This is called Paradise Glow. And same thing. It has a highlighter, has a blush and bronzer and a contour. This is for like tan deep skin tones and then the other one I showed was for like um, deeper skin tones. Okay so next I have this Lethal Cosmetics palette so um, in 2022 I had the opportunity to work with Lethal Cosmetics and create like my own palette and so this is the inside so they do have this feature and tool where you can like they have a bunch of single shadows and you can piece together your own palette so that's what I did so this wasn't like an official collab palette it was just me being able to go on there pick my eyeshadows and then um, review for you guys and show you guys about the tool so yes this is what I came up with then I have this um, magnetic palette that has some of my single shadows from Clarity Cosmetics and this is the inside of this one now Clarity Cosmetics they are no longer selling their eyeshadows in this pan size they have it smaller so just so you guys know in case you do you see this video just like, well, how come my shadows are not this size? They no longer sell them in this pan size um, from what I've seen on their social media accounts. And then I also have an empty palette from Gimme Glow Cosmetics. And these are the shadows in here. Like these at the bottom are so highly reflective. It's crazy. Like it's it's like I have to be careful with these because they can, they are out of this world insane. Like, let me, let me just swatch this for you guys. Like, look at how... Oh, it's so pretty. Okay, and then I have this empty palette. I got this palette off of, um, what's the thing called, Amazon. But the eyeshadows in here are my Cleona um, singles. So these are like their multi-chrome shadows. Uh, yeah, love this. This is very pricey. <laughs> All right, next I have this Carly Bible palette in collaboration with BH Cosmetics. And this is what this one looks like. I made a video talking about palettes I regret buying and this was definitely included. Like. It was cool at the time, but when I really think about it, this was not meant for someone my skin tone. Like, I love Carly. She seems like a very sweet girl, but like, yeah. <laughs> this was not intended for people of color. Like, in my opinion, like, yeah, the highlighters are like darker here, but the shadows, like, as far as the match, it really wasn't much that you could do with this if you were like my skin tone or darker. And then she had a deluxe version that I went and bought. I don't know why. And this is even worse, like as far as the shadows go, like the shimmers. And I feel like every single face palette that they put out in that era, in that time frame, they always were going to include like these types of shades. But like the rest of the palette really was not usable for people who are darker, to be quite honest. Let's grab these. These are expensive, you guys. And I waited months to get this. So for the, oh my gosh, what is the name of this brand? I think it's called Lashes by Lena. Oh snap, what is this brand called? Oh, it's called Lena Beauty. <laughs> This was the first and the last thing that I bought from this brand. So this is their, what is this palette called? Um, my goodness, I don't know. Any, okay, this is the Peach Martini palette. And this is what this one looks like. These palettes were a hundred something each. Crazy, right? And then I have here, this is the Note Carry Last palette. And this is what the inside of this one looks like. Very pretty, like the color stories I would say are pretty, but I do have a review on this if you want to hear more about it. To be honest, I don't feel like they were worth the price nor the weight that I had to for this. But I mean, they're they're cool. Okay, we are done with this row. There is one more row down here. I'm going to leave the camera where it's at and just pull from the bottom because I cannot lower my um, stand any further. All right, so I have here two Tom Ford palettes. The first one here is called Leopard Sun. And this is the inside of this palette. Next, I have the shade Honeymoon, and this is what this palette looks like. 
All right, next I have the Naked 3 from Urban Decay. And this is what this one looks like. Definitely was given this in gratis work in a Sephora because ain't no way I would have bought this. Like, this is definitely not my style at all. And as you guys can see, it's barely been touched. <laughs> Then we have the peach palette. Like I remember people went crazy over this. This is by Too Faced. And this is what this one looks like. Very pretty, honestly. It's, it's, it's a cool palette. Um, would I buy this for myself? No. Did I buy this for myself? No. <laughs> That's why I have it because I did not understand the hype of it. Is it pretty? Yeah, but like it was just, it was honestly basic to me, but people love this. And then, excuse how dirty this palette is, but this is the Kat Von D, the Shade and Light Eye Palette. And this is what this one looked like. I actually did use this quite a bit when I first got it. Um, I was also given this when I worked this before I got this in gratis, but I definitely use this. Like, you know, it, it, it came in handy at times. Next, I have a very, 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 very old palette. Um, when I think about it, I actually cannot remember the name of this brand. Um, I got this in high school, like I think it was the year 2012 and I wanted some blushes. And so I got this, okay, there it goes. The name is, this is the Makeup Mania. So I put together all these blushes. Like they had a bunch of stuff on their website. I remember waiting for this. And then when I got all the blushes, I put them in this pan, in this um, empty palette. I, and look y'all, I even have my name on here, all the names of it. I don't know if these are any good because this is like literally... Okay, sorry, my camera cut off because it got too hot when I was filming this. But anyways, um, I don't know what I said last about this thing, but yeah, I this is this. Next I have here, this is the Naked, the Ultimate Basics um, palette by Urban Decay. And this is what this one looks like. Then I have here, this is the Color Board palette by Beauty Glazed. And so it's going to be hard to kind of open this, but it's like palettes and they kind of, you know... Let me see if I can do this. Okay, so this is the green one. And this is the orange one. Ugh. And this is the blue one. And then this is the purple one. And I do have the tutorial on my channel using this, but yeah, this is this palette. Next, I have this palette right here. This is a face palette, I believe, from the brand I'm Magic or Eye Magic. And this is what this one looks like. It's just blush and highlighter and I guess that middle shade is like a powder to set the under eye. Then I have here, this is the Tardius Pro Contour Palette. So this was actually a collab with Makeup Shayla. Um, it wasn't an official collab, like she helped curate this palette. I'm pretty sure she got paid off of this palette, but her name and everything wasn't like on it. But like, it was kind of like when Jackie and Ina helped Too Faced make um, more foundation shades, like not make, but like, you know, help with creating more colors to extend the, the line. That's what they did here. And I, I was always bothered by this because I did not like the fact that Instead of you guys to just release a darker tone, because this was limited edition, you guys. Sorry, I'm going to have to rant about this. This was limited edition. And instead of y'all to have this in your regular lineup, like, why should this have been a collab with Shayla? Like, Shayla should have something else as a collab with you guys, not, okay, we're going to go ahead and bring her on. But, you know, Tarte is definitely known for having that token black girl. And there was a point where they were definitely using Shayla to be that token black girl. But yes, I've, I, I, I never liked that. But anyways, this is that. And then I have here, this is another Tarte palette. It is called the Make Believe in Yourself. And this is what this one looks like. Then I have this one right here. This is a Sephora Ombre Obsession palette. And this is what this one looks like. And another thing I bought on Impulse, um, we do, with working with Sephora, you get a bigger discount on the Sephora collection brand. And I'm pretty sure this was already on sale. It was like a holiday release or something. So I just bought it because it was like a really good deal, but just a waste of money and waste of space. Okay, next I have here, this is the Kylie, the one and only Kylie palette that I have. This is the peach palette, I believe, or something peach that she came out with. And this is what this one looks like. The next two that I have here, um, I don't support this person anymore, but I do have two palettes from them. This is it. This is a BH Cosmetics face palette. And this is what this one looks like. Yet again, another highlighter palette. You guys, I don't know why I was buying a bunch of highlighter palettes. Like I use the same highlighter every single day. <laughs> and then I have another highlighter palette and it's the one with all like the crazy shades. Remember when we went through that whole phase of like the duochrome highlighters? I would never put any of this on my face, at least not in today's day. Like with the way I do my makeup, I would not use this. Next up I have here, this is the Jolie palette. This is the beauty.com palette. This is a all pressed glitter palette. Like I told you, I. Press glitters don't bother me, but I know a lot of people seem to really hate them, but yeah. Next, I have here an Eye Magic palette, and this is what this one looks like. It is definitely a dupe for the Jaclyn Hill um, palette in collaboration with Morphe, her Volume 2 palette. Pretty color story. Then I have here, this is the DD Signature. This is their Strawberry palette, and this is what this one looks like. And then I have here their Apple palette, and this is what this one looks like. Next, I have here, this is the Box of Crayons eyeshadow palette. This is 
uh, the Crayon Case brand, Supercent brand. And this is what this palette looks like. Then I have here, this is the Fol Folklore palette, their Endless Possibilities palette. This is actually the very, very first palette that I ever got from a brand sent to me in PR. And this is what this one looks like. And it's clearly a dupe for the Jaclyn Hill Morphe um, palette, the Volume 1 palette. Next, I have my Sephora Pro palettes. So this is the rainbow one. This is what this one looks like. Then this is the cool tone palette. This is what the inside of this one looks like. And then this is the warm tone palette. And this is what this one looks like. All right, so we're about to get into a bunch of like my single palettes. So a lot of them are gonna be in these Z palettes. Before I started getting into collecting eyeshadow palettes, I used to be one of those people that only wanted to use single shadows. I did not want to buy palettes. So definitely have a lot of those. So let's get through them. Starting off with, I have my colored rain single eyeshadows. And this is what this palette looks like. I was so excited to get all these shadows and place them. And I remember ordering this, I believe it was, I just remember Black Friday. Yeah, but anyways. Then I have this Z palette here. This has all of my Makeup Geek eyeshadows. And do y'all remember like the foiled shadows? Those are those at the top. I have more Makeup Geek shadows. So this is this one. And this is actually a dual palette. So it has some more on the back and this is more Makeup Geek um, shadows. Then I have here, um, this is all Morphe single shadows. I don't think Morphe sells singles anymore, but this is um, some of them. I have the blue and the green ones in here. And then I have this palette right here. This is actually a Coastal Scents palette. I depotted all of them and just placed them in here. And as you guys can see, like one of them is like sliding around because I didn't have enough room to fit it all in here. But for whatever reason, I did not want it in there. In that palette, I wanted it in a Z palette. So yeah, I put them here. And these are more single shadows by Morphe. <laughs> this came and went like, I don't think a lot of people remember them even selling shadows this size or remember selling these but yeah these are more single shadows from Morphe. I have this is this is Anastasia. I was like wait what is this? Yeah these are single shadows from Anastasia. They always have a really good Black Friday sale where you can get these for like two dollars. I don't know if they still do that but that's when I went and got all of these. All right so this right here is a face palette or a blush palette and these are all Makeup Geek um, blushes. I have another Z palette with more single eyeshadows from Morphe Cosmetics. For the life of me, this is one thing I will say I regret buying. I don't know why I went and bought every last one of these eyeshadows. This was just dumb, but yes, I have all of these singles. <laughs> now getting into the Morphe palettes, this right here is the 35F. And this is what this palette looks like. Then we have the 35R. And this is what this one looks like, just neutral. Like the fact that we used to buy these palettes, 35 shades of repetitive shades, but you know, Morphe had us in a show code. It was cheap, it was inexpensive. Um, I don't shop like this anymore, but yeah, this is this palette. All right, so this is a, another palette, um, another empty palette from Morphe. And these are all single shadows. And I believe these are from Coastal Scents because I was having, I was like trying to remember what it was. Yeah, these are Coastal Scents. I, I think I ordered a bunch of single shadows from them and I just placed them in here. Um, I have another empty palette here from Morphe and I want to say, <laughs> what brand is this? Hold on, let me think about this. Y'all, I think this is Coastal Scents as well. I think. Or you know what? No, 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 no. I believe this is Morphe. These are Morphe single shadows, I believe. I have another magnetic palette from Morphe and these just hold blushes and shadows. So these blushes are from NARS. This is, this is, um, what's that brand called? Ugh, Makeup Forever, Makeup Forever. These are Sephora collection. I have a Dior blush. I have here, I believe this is a NARS eyeshadow and some NARS shadows down here. Yes. This is that palette. Then I have the Jaclyn Hill, the her first palette that she ever, well not first palette she ever came out with, but this is her, the Jaclyn Hill Volume 1 palette. And this is the inside of this one. This is the Volume 2. And this is what this palette looks like. Next I have the James Charles palette. And this is what this palette looks like. Just another rainbow palette. Um, I don't really watch him anymore. I actually unsubscribed from his channel. So I don't know what's going on with him, but yeah. Then I have here the 39A, the Dare to Create palette. And this is the inside of this palette. Okay, so we have finished um, with this bottom row. So I'm going to go ahead and grab my other shadows that are elsewhere. And we should be finishing this video very soon. Okay, so next I have here a bunch of makeup um, forever single shadows that I put into like a trio palette. So let me just run through these. So we have this one right here. I don't remember the name of these shades. A lot of them are numbered. So 
and I don't think they even sell this anymore, but yeah, there's this. Then I have this one right here. Then there's this one. Then I have this one right here. There's this one. Oops, that's upside down. There's this one. There's this one. And then the last one I have here is this. Okay, so next I have my Natasha Denona palettes. So I have this one right here. This is the, what is this one? The Mini Glam. Then I have this one right here. And this is the, um, where's the name of it? The Mini Love is right there in my face. <laughs> and then I have this one right here. Um, this is the eyeshadow palette number five or yeah, number five. And then I have this one right here as well too. And this is, oh, actually, no, this is palette number eight. This is palette number nine. I didn't buy any of these Natasha palettes. I got them all for free working at Sephora. Um, I don't know. I've just never been drawn to her brand like that to buy anything. Next, we're going to do my Huda Beauty Obsession palettes. So I have here, this is the Mauve Obsessions. This is the inside of this palette. Then we have the Gemstone. And this is what this one looks like. Then we have the Smoky palette. Really pretty, like neutral palette and you can do a smoky eye and that black is pretty nice then we have the warm brown obsession and this is what this one looks like and then the last one that i bought would be the emerald obsession palette and this is what this one looks like next i have these mini palettes from tarte so this is the tarte tease palette and this is what this one looks like and then i have here the flirt palette and this is what this one looks like then i also have this here this is a maybelline palette in collaboration with shayla this is the city mini palette like i said shayla's my girl so basically every collab she's ever done i basically bought and i also have this tardius pro to go palette and this is what this one looks like on the inside next i have these two nyx palettes i don't know what these are called actually you know what no these are NYX single shadows that I place into an empty magnetic pan. So yeah. And then I also have this palette as well too. Okay, and then I have three palettes from Smashbox. So I have this one here first. And this is the matte eye palette. And this is what this one looks like. It's basically untouched. Um, I don't wanna keep repeating myself, but obviously um, I got this one for free. So um, just never got around to using it, but yes. Then I have this one here next. What is this one called? This is the Golden Hour Eye Palette. Sorry, let me focus that. Okay, it's not focusing, but this is the inside of this palette. And then I have here, this is the Ablaze Eye Palette. And this is what this one looks like. Then I have these two very old palettes, but I'm not gonna let them go. These are by Wet n Wild. <laughs> Had this for years. This one right here, this is the Blue Had Me at Hello. And as you guys can see, that one is broken up there in the corner. And then we have here the Comfort Zone palette. When I say I probably have bought like eight, nine, or 10 of these palettes, this is what I learned how to do eyeshadow with initially in high school. I wasn't that great at it. I've really learned how to do my eyeshadow in college, but I started off in high school and I remember, man, could have might tell me nothing. I, my looks were cute. I would do an all shimmer eye look like you guys. I would have this on my lid. This would be um, my outer V. This would be my, no, actually, no, this would be my crease shade. This would be my outer V. That would be on my lid. And then occasionally I'll put this on my brow bone. I would do an all shimmer eye look. Could nobody tell me nothing because your girl was eating at the time, okay? <laughs> and then I have this palette right here. What is this brand? This is, who is this by? Oop. This is, um, let me open it. I don't know what brand this is. Oh, this is Laura Mercier. Laura Mercier. This is this palette. We are almost done. And then I have here, this is a um, Anastasia magnetic palette, but I believe the shades in here are, I cannot remember the name of the brand, but it's, it's not Anastasia. I cannot remember the name of the brand of these eyeshadows. But yeah, there's this. And then I have my two sugar pill palettes. I bought this in high school. Okay, this was 2012. So been had this before they changed it, but um, this one right here, this is the Heartbreaker palette. I remember watching videos and like, I could not wait to get my hands on this, beg my mom to give me money so I can buy this. <laughs> and this is the inside of this palette. This is so old. And then I have here, this is the Burning Heart palette. And this is what this one looks like. And I remember getting this. I'm just like, man, I cannot get this yellow to show up on me. I did not know about eye primer and like how to make shades work for a deeper skin tone. Um, 
I was just happy to have it. <laughs> and then my last two palettes I have here, this is the Urban Decay, the Electric Palette. This was the very first eyeshadow palette that I ever bought from Sephora. I remember watching all the YouTube videos and I was like, I gotta get this. Uh, this takes me back to that time on YouTube when, man, I miss those days. But anyways, this is what this palette looks like. And then lastly, I have my Take Me to Brazil palette from BH Cosmetics. And this is what this palette looks like. Yet again, this takes me, my, takes me back to my early days. I remember where I lived at the time. I, this was 2014. Um, it was the summer. I don't, I'm just going on a tangent. But anyways, this is taking me back and bringing out, bringing back memories. But yes. So there you guys have it. That is my entire eyeshadow palette collection. I'm not sure how many I have, but I'm pretty sure at this point it's probably 300 or so more. I don't feel like counting, but yes. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, right now, the, it is a lot of footage, so there's a chance that I may have to split this into two videos. I'm not sure yet, but um, if I do, hope you guys enjoyed this. And yeah, probably will not be filming this for another three or four years. <laughs> but yes, until next time, I will talk to you later. Bye, guys. <laughs>